يريد ان يطفي نور الله بافواهه ويعب الله الا يتم نوره ولو كره الكافرون they intend to extinguish the light of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by blowing with their mouths ويعب الله Allah, it is not acceptable to Allah. Allah is not ready to accept, accept. Illa yuti manurahu. Accept that he has to make his light complete. Walau karihal kafirun. Although the unbelievers might dislike it. Despite their dislike, Allah has to make the light of guidance complete. Al yawma. اکمل تو لکم دین اکم تو علیکم نعمتی و رضی تو لکم اسلام دینا دس از دیسیجن محمد از سینٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی ایڈونٹ آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از ود دس ڈیوائن ڈیسیجن ناؤ ٹو ہوم دس آئی آر ایفرس نمبر ون دی کرسچنس اینڈ دی جیوز Here the mushrikeen are not mentioned. The context is مِنَ الَّذِينَ عُوتُ الْكِتَابِ اِتَّخَذُوا اَحْبَارَهُمْ وَرْوَبَانَهُمْ وَرْبَابَهُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ So you have to explain with reference to the context. And this is the situation which has reached its climax now today. I was reading some leaflet. Some sanctions are coming very soon on Sudan also. encirclement of iran that is now as fundamental of the foreign policy of the united states of america as was the containment of russia for so long a period pakistan is already in their pocket now what is happening yuridun la yutfiu nur allah bi afwahi Wallahu mutimmu nurihi wa lawkari al-kafir. Trials and tribulations will come to the Muslims, especially the Middle East. Armageddon is at hand. Al-Malhamatul Uzma is going to come very soon. Biggest persecution is going to the Arabs and they deserve it. Because they were given the fazeelah. They have the book in their own language. Just like the special case of the pagan Arabs of the peninsula as compared to the rest of the world. The same connection is there. And this is going to come very soon. You know. But after that, there are good tidings of the Prophet ﷺ. Tables will be turned. But this is, you know, the basic thing. You know, this ayah is repeated in Surah Al-Saf. Here, only two words are different. And then the next ayah. which is the main axis of the whole of the Qur'an according to Shah Wariullah Dehlavi, Rahimahullah. Umood of Qur'an. Huwa alladhi yarsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen al-haqq li yuzhirahu ala al-deen kullihi wa law kariha al-mushrikoon. This is the key to the understanding of the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What was his mission? He was not a preacher as well. To bring about that total revolution and make the deen of Allah supreme. He was sent for this definite purpose. And these words are repeated in the Quran thrice. Once here, it's ayah number 33 of Surah Al-Tawbah. Ayah number 9. صورت الصف the same exactly the same هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على دين كله in the end of سورة الفتح 
دی میجر پارٹ از دی سیم ہو الزی ارسل رسول بالہدا و دین الحق کے لیے رہو الدین کلی لاسٹ بٹ ون آیا اور صورت الفت بٹ دی اینڈ از و کفا بلّہ شہیدا انسٹیڈ آف ولا کرہ المشرق دی سیم ورڈ اپیئر ان تھرائس ان دی قرآن اینڈ شاہ ولی اللہ سید اینڈ آئی ایبسولیوٹلی اگری ود ہم دس از دی مین تھیم آف دی قرآن اللہ سینٹ ہز پیسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وتھ ٹو تھنگ دی بک اینڈ نمبر ٹو الہدا دی بک اینڈ نمبر ٹو دین الحق دی جسٹ پولیٹیکو سوشل اکنامک سسٹم دی جسٹ سوشل آرڈر دی ٹرو سسٹم آف لائف اینڈ وٹ فار ہی ہیز سینٹ محمد رہو عالم دین کل نہیں So that he makes this deen of Allah supreme. The ayah which we read last night, قَاتِلُوا حَتَّى لَا تَكُونَ فِتْنَةٌ وَيَكُونَ الدِّينُ كُلُّهُ لِلَّهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُشْرِكُونَ Although the mushrikun, they will resent it, they will not like it. But it's divine decree, it will happen. It happened once. at the hands of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Arabian Peninsula then extended to east and west and north to the Oxus River in the east to the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Caucasian Mountains in the north but then you know there was they started a downfall but this will happen again there is no doubt it will happen maybe after the punishments come to us and the biggest punishment is going to come as I told you to the Arabs next stand we the Pakistanis 10 crores the first and 20 crores of the Arabs 30 crores go to make one fourth of the total umbra and why we because we establish a country in the name of Islam So we deserve, and we have gone back on our words. Collectively, the whole Pakistani nation is culprit. Now, whosoever is more responsible, who is less responsible, it's a different story. But the nation is one. Nobody can say that I don't have any responsibility. بَتَّقُوا فِتْنَةً لَا تُصِيبَنَّ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْكُمْ خَاصَّةً We read this ayah last night. 